Guys, this is John. Just a little quick update. Um, trying to get a little bit of work done after work on the uh, on the camper here. Um, so basically, um, I took some pictures that I'm gonna post too. But basically, we got a wire down here. You can see we're gonna cross another wire. So I'm gonna plane that board, the underside, high enough to miss the wire when it's snugged up. But um, you can see sitting it across the top how how much gap and sag there is there. It's a big gap. And as I'm cutting out the styrofoam, um, you can feel this stuff's just, it's its soaking wet. Like, I don't know if you can, yeah, see, you can see the moisture on my hands coming off. I mean, I'm pulling out chunks that are wet. So unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna dry out. We've had it under a tarp now, avoiding any rain for two to three weeks. And with this heat, and it still hasn't dried out, um, at this point, I think I'm going to put my joists in, or yeah, there's stringers or whatever you want to call them, joists. Um, I'm going to put the joists in, but I, I do think that honestly the only way to fix it at this point will be to just cut out all the styrofoam and replace it. it it's just, it's so wet. Um, I'm going to check Home Depot out. This is an inch thick. They got sheets for 20 bucks that's or an inch thick. And then I'll have to get a good adhesive to spray it down. But once I get all the joists and stuff in place, I'm going to go ahead and um, then, you know, um, I'll start ripping out at least the most wet sections. The stuff in the back isn't wet, but I think all the way to about there, it's probably going to have to be done. Um, it just took on a lot of water in May. And even feeling this now, you can feel it still... It's still really wet um, some of the pieces are very heavy it's just retaining water which is making the weight for the roof sag again you can you can almost see the lowest points are the wettest points on it so um, it's just yeah it's really really wet still so I, I think it's gonna have to come out um, I'm at least gonna do at least the front half of this thing um, if not all of it Thanks again for watching. I'll keep you all updated. I've already got my board marked. I, I at least want to try to get it screwed in tonight into the sideboards here on each end. And I'm giving it kind of a bow so when I screw the headliner back into it, the metal interior, it'll it'll suck it up, up to it. Um, so we're going to at least try to get this in place tonight, this one. And then, um, you know, then probably call it an evening. Thanks again for watching as always. Hope you all had a good day. See ya. When the headliner gets attached to it, it's going to pull it down almost level. We're going to get rid of all this wet styrofoam probably over the weekend. Um, I shot three screws in here to try to tow it to make sure it was dead in. Good. I wanted to make sure it couldn't turn at all. It's nice and flush right there. Um, let's move around to the other side real quick. And so the other side here, same thing. Um, you know put some screws in all this will be covered back up with metal railing again it's nice and flush you got that wicked bow right there you can see how bad my roof is sagging on the uh on the you know interior this is like that that green metal's the interior roof um we do have wires running through right right here but i planed this board on the underside i took a planer and planed it down pretty good i don't know if you can see but so that's playing down pretty good. So the wires, when this thing gets pulled up to it, it's not going to pinch and mess up my interior roof lights, which are built into the, you know, the internals of the roof. Um, so with that, we're going to cover it up. One other thing that I'm considering, I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. It's all about money and where I'm at on this build. But I'm thinking about doing an awning light rail like all the new campers have. Um... You know, a lot of them have installed these nice little LED lights under their awning. So once I get my rail back on and stuff, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Um, the nicest part is, with this roof being off and the styrofoam being off, I would be able to take a hole and tunnel it up into the interior roof to run my lights. I think what I'm going to do is, if I do decide to do that and buy a light kit... I'll probably run it somewhere near here, have it come out, but I'm going to have a plug. I'm not going to hardwire the LED light because, you know, the problem with LEDs is that they last for so long and then they're bad. And then if it's bad, I got to, I got to rip all this apart to change it. So if I run my wiring out to a connector here, maybe a grommet and a connector under the awning rail, you know, you'd have to drill up a little bit, tunnel it in. But if I do that, then I can mount my rail 
hook up my connector then if it ever burned out just cut the light you know the connector off wire it to a new one remount and go so it seems like at this point if i'm going to do an awning light rail on this camper and anybody that's you know knows me that knows i've done a lot to this pop-up the outdoor speakers I, I love just always mods and stuff like that but um if i'm going to do it now is probably the time so i'm going to start considering that maybe a nice little awning light rail one of the multi-color jobs um but we'll see if i do that i'll shoot another whole separate video set up for that but we're going to get this bad boy covered up looks like we could have some rain again tonight it's been raining every night and i've already got a wet roof so thanks again guys for watching um hope everybody's had a good day today and um we'll definitely have more video and stuff on you know this weekend all right thanks See ya.